Do I want truth or do I want the lie? You know, do I want salvation or do I want to become more entangled in this world of suffering? That's the choice we have. And we have that choice at every moment. Uh, Krishna gave us free will and so he respects our free will, even if we want to misuse it. Even if we want to be rascals and suffer. Uh, I was talking last night about that cartoon. Who was I talking with? The Sunshine Makers. Yeah, yeah. Teo, uh, we were in a conversation. Uh, anybody seen that cartoon, The Sunshine Makers? Okay, I have to tell the story then. It's about these little elves who live in the woods and they have, you know, magnifying glasses and stuff like this and they, they use that to take the sunshine and, and concentrate it and bottle it in these little bottles and then they climb on the backs of, of dragonflies and they fly everywhere delivering these little bottles of sunshine to all the elves and fairies in the forest. Very nice, right? Except there's these other elves who dress in like black raincoats, you know, and, and, and big black hats and sunglasses. <laughs> and they go around with bug sprayers <laughs> and everything they spray turns black and wilts and dies. And they're like, <laughs> you know, real evil little guys. So that the, then, then somehow or other they start a, a war between the sunshine makers and these other guys. And so the sunshine makers are like filling these bottles with sunshine and then they have little catapults, you know, and where they're on their dragonflies and they drop them on the, on the bad guys. And everyone, when the bad guys, when they get hit with the sunshine bottles, they all turn white and they start dancing and, and singing. I'm happy, you know. And uh, so finally they capture the leader of the, of the bad guys. You know, and they've got him and they're going to force him to drink the sunshine. And, and this is so cool because the guy says, you know, you, if you drink this, then you'll be happy like us, you know. And the, and the bad guy is going, I don't want to be happy. I want to be sad. <laughs> <laughs> and this is basically the human condition. Huh? I don't want to be happy. I want to commit sinful activities and suffer. Yeah, just leave me alone. Don't tell me about this hard Krishna stuff. I mean, what kind of mentality is that, you know? Might as well put on the black raincoat and big hat. <laughs> I've been trying to find it uh, on YouTube or something. I've been trying to find this clip and it just, uh, it doesn't exist. There's some isolated stills here and there. Huh? It is there? Oh, we have to find it and post it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, give me, send me a link if you can find it. Sunshine Makers, I think it's called. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's, it's a delightful little thing, but it illustrates a truth about human nature. Huh? That, that, you know, some people see the glass half full and some people see it half empty. <laughs> so we want to be the people who see it half full, that Oh yeah, there may be problems, there may be difficulties, but we always have the choice to go with Krishna or not. And Krishna will respect that choice. Uh, of course, we'll still have to take the reaction, but <laughs> he will respect our choice. If we want Maya, then we'll get tons and tons of Maya, as much as we can handle. But if we want Krishna, then Krishna will give his very self. That's why he appeared in this world 5,000 years ago. Uh, to give himself to his devotees. And that was then, but this is now. But guess what? Krishna's promise is still good. Uh, and he will still give himself to his sincere devotees if we simply follow his instructions and choose him instead of Maya and this material world. So, Hare Krishna. I don't know. Are there any questions? Oh, there are people online? Yeah, we're broadcasting. Oh, oh look. Wow, this is great. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yep. Uh, there's like, let me see how many. 
there's nine. Navayogana, Luciano, Marino, Tiago. Oh, They're cool. Watching. Okay. Yep. I had a question about uh, Mother Jasoda and uh, Nanda Maharaj. I don't, I don't really know much about age, but how young are they? Or We don't know exactly. We don't know? We no. don't have that information. Mm. Okay, so that was one. They were probably, I would say they were probably like late 20s. I see. Yeah. But we don't know really. Any questions here? Oh, Mother Swati. Hare Krishna Babaji. I have many questions. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, one that we talked about, uh, Krishna never left Vrindavan. Mm -hmm. And he entered into the hearts of uh, people who lived in Vrindavan. Mm -hmm. But uh, then why did Gopi still felt the separation from Krishna? Oh, because he created that separation to increase their love for him. Did they ever felt presence of Krishna again? Well, of course they did. When they would go in the forest and engage in the pastimes of Mahabhava, uh, this is very confidential, uh, that they would feel Krishna's presence within their hearts and then they'd be satisfied. In the story of Gopakumar, you mentioned in, in, the, in the beginning that he was uh, initiated into the mantra and uh, blessed by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mm -hmm. uh, what are Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's uh, eternal pastimes, I mean, other than when he appeared on this planet? Well, it's, there's just like Krishna, when he revealed his Vrindavan pastimes, huh? he has the Ashtakaliya Leela. So similarly, there's a Gora Ashtakaliya Leela, Eightfold Daily Pastimes of Lord Chaitanya. This is very deep, very confidential. Uh, um, most, most of you have not read the Chaitanya Charitamrita, have you? How about uh, Chaitanya Bhagavat? No? Oh boy. Only the pieces that you post in relation yeah, to some... Yeah, yeah, well, really you should read, you know, um, and this will give you an idea of the daily activities of Lord Goranga because we're following that program. That's, that's what we're doing here. Our whole festival, the, the, the whole style and, and manner of uh, our activities in, in this lineage is actually following Lord Chaitanya. See, and, and in fact, most temples and most uh, Vaishnav lineages are following actually Lord Chaitanya's program. They may not give credit, you know, but they're actually following. Anyone who chants Sankirtan is following the Yuga Dharma. Because before that, it was almost universally assumed that Vedic uh, Dharma meant meditation. Huh? Jnana. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the, to, to study Vedic uh, knowledge meant... Uh, learning the philosophy, learning Sanskrit and logic and things like that, or astrology, and then practicing silent meditation. And even if you chanted a mantra, you would chant it silently. Uh, even Narada Bhakti Sutra uh, talks about chanting silently is more beneficial than chanting out loud. But then Lord Chaitanya turned that whole thing around and said, no, no, you have to chant out loud. And the reason for that is it's Kali Yuga. In Kali Yuga, our, our senses are bombarded with so much materialistic stuff that we want to engage more senses as much as possible in the worship of the Lord. So if we can chant out loud, then we also engage our tongue, our ear, huh? and other people get to hear the chanting as well. If we chant silently, we only benefit ourselves. Then it's very, very difficult to control the mind and keep the mind focused on the mantra. But it's much easier if the sense of touch is involved, huh? on the beads, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, like that. Um, and of course, then there's prasadam, 
the dancing. I mean, wait till you see, when, once we develop this dancing a little bit, this is going to become like, I mean, so far out. <laughs> you can feel it already, you know, just beginning. But uh, we want to get the, the plays going. We want to get the dances going really nicely. We want to have like very, very first class music, you know, and make the whole thing just really wonderful. And then, like, who is not going to want to join the Sankirtan party? You know, anyone who is even a little bit intelligent, they want to join. Uh, so this is all Lord Chaitanya's pastimes. He did these things. He, he and his group, for example, let's see, how long was it? I think it was like six or seven years. They had 